Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, call Halayim, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, and double honor to my teachers, the apostles, and the elders at Great Millstone, who always rule well, to my fellow laborers in this truth that's out there on the four winds, that's continuously pushing this real truth for Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah. And bringing this good news of the coming of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, and all fear shall it want. And this is the book of uh, 1 Corinthians, chapter 2, and verse 11. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of our power knoweth no man, but the spirit of our power. And that's right, man. Okay, these 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 two thirds of our people. Okay, these heathen nations and uh, uh, these lower level Edomites. Hey man, they only know things of the natural man. Okay, but but they don't they don't know the things. Okay, of of the spirit, or should I say, the spiritual man, which is the only way you be a spiritual man. The spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, must dwell within you, man. Okay, and and that and that's what 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 the scripture is saying, man. Okay. I'm going to read it again, 1 Corinthians 2 and 11. For what knoweth the things of man, save the spirit which man, so like him, save the spirit of man which is in him. Okay? So the, 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 the kernel, okay, know the things of the kernel. Okay? Even so the things of our power know of no man. Okay? But a kernel man don't know a spiritual thing, but the, but the spirit of God. Only if he has the spirit, okay, of, of, of our powers with dwelling within him. Okay, the powers of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, second, uh, First Corinthians two and twelve. Now we have received, and that, and, and that we is who the hopefully elect, because we are the spiritual man on this planet. Okay, now we have received not the spirit of the world. Okay, we, we are in the world. Okay, but we are not of the world. Roughly paraphrasing, but the spirit which is of our power, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay that we might know the things that are freely given to us by our powers, okay? Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, man? Okay, so we know the things of the Spirit, and, and we being the hope of the elect, okay? Verse 13, which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit, okay, or the Holy Ghost teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual things, okay? Verse 14, but the natural man... Receiveth not the things of the spirit of, of our powers, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned, man. And, and one thing we 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 are spiritually discerned is is what getting these new bodies, man. And this is something that other people can't fathom, man. In, in these in these times that we're living in, because they're not spiritual, man. Number one, the spirit of Yahweh Yahweh Shai is not dwelling in them. There, which meaning they're not in this truth, man. Okay, they're not up under the banner of this truth. Okay, because, so that means they're still worldly. They're still carnal, man. And they can't see the spiritual things. But we being the, the, the spiritually blessed, spiritually uh, discerned, being able to spiritually discern things, we, we can discern that, hey, we can't um, uh, reign with our higher power, man. We can't even enter in, into the IFOs, which are the identifiable flying objects, okay, without, okay, the, the, the renewing of our bodies, man. Okay, but without getting out of these chains, which are the bodies, which are, which is the flesh, man. Okay, and we we know we all know Paul said there's no good thing. Okay, that dwelleth in the flesh, man. So in order in, in order for us to inherit the kingdom, okay, the kingdom of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, man, we must be changed, man. Okay, we must we must uh, labor to enter into the rest, man. And, and one of those perks, okay, of entering into the rest is getting these new bodies, man. Okay, getting up out of getting up out of these these frail bodies that we're in, these no good bodies, man. There's no good flesh that goes off all the time. Okay? This is the book of Malachi, chapter four and verse two. But unto you that fear my name, and, and that's the hopefully elect, man, that fear the name of Yahweh Yahweh Shah, and only the hopefully elect. Okay? Shall the son of righteousness, and who's the son of righteousness, man? Our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, arise with healing in his wings, man. Okay, rise with healing, man. Okay, deliver us out of these these uh, uh, decrepit these uh these forever dying, forever going off weak frail bodies, man. 
okay? And we're healing in his wings, and them, and them wings represent those chariots, man, okay? Our salvation, man, okay? That's what they mean by healing in his wings, bringing our salvation, man, when we see those chariots show up. We see Yahweh Shah show up with, with, with the host of heaven, man, and ye shall go forth and, and grow up as calves of the stall, okay? And, and that's in this truth, man. Okay, because what first? First, you you uh get what renewed. Okay, by by the by the, by the by the renewing of the mind through the scriptures. Okay, you be uh, so called born again. Okay, that 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 makes you a babe, man. But in the scripture it said, what and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall, and that's what we trying to do. That's what we doing now, man. Receiving these these this this uh green pasture, man. Okay, which is life, man. Which is your house shot. Which is the breath of life. Which is the living waters, man. Which is which is the kingdom. Okay. And and that's what we're looking for, man. These these new bodies, man. Because we we man, I speak for myself and hopefully elect, man. We we're tired of suffering in these new bodies, man. Okay. Uh this is Isaiah 40 and 29. He giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might, he increases their strength, man. Okay, and he, he didn't increase our strength by allowing us to know that we are Hebrew Israelites, man. Okay, like the book of uh, Ezekiel 37, okay, chapter uh, Valley of the Dry Bones, where the, the, the Sanus came back up on us, man. Okay, that's our strength, man, our identity, man. Okay, which leads to the name, knowing the name of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, and know the, they are our powers, man. Okay, which are, which are the sons of Israel, knowing that we are Israelites. Okay, I'm going to read again, Isaiah 40 and 30, even Salakim, Isaiah 40 and 29. He, he giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. Okay, I'm going to jump down to 31, because this is the point, all right? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 40 and 31. But they that wait upon the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, shall renew their strength. See? And matter of fact, real quick, let's go into that word renew. Okay. Real quick. It's the word renew in the Strong's H. 